in, in years past, uh, this type of election, we, we tend to be right around 71 or 72%. Uh, in this election, we are, as of this moment, again, still under 50%, somewhere between 45 and 50%. So we have a long way to go. A long way to go, but voters don't have much longer to turn in those ballots. I was anticipating, you know, 115 to 120,000 ballots. So if we have 70, almost 80,000 in, that's still a long way to go, and we're well under that mark. So. Um, Maybe voters had something else in mind and to wait, but uh, I would say if you're interested in voting, go drop your ballot off in, in one of our drop boxes. We'll pick it up and, and securely transport it back over here to our office. According to the clerk, there are almost 158,000 voters in Deschutes County. To get to that uh, uh, 70, 75 percent, that that would be a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of ballots to come in still yet. If you lost your ballot or need to update your information, you still have time. The clerk's office will be open election day to issue ballots and receive them. If you know someone who's out of town, they can still vote. They just have to drop it off at any voter drop box location in Oregon or mail it in. As long as it was postmarked on the 8th of November, it'll count. Regardless of uh, when voters do vote, and again, I hope they do, we're ready for them. We're, you know, we're ready to count those ballots that come in uh, right up until uh, right, right up until uh, 8 o'clock. The clerk also reminding voters they have until November 29th to resolve a challenge to their vote, such as a signature challenge or an unsigned envelope. Just get out and vote. Where are the voters? Morgan, where are the voters? Around 30,000 ballots will have to be returned tomorrow in order to hit normal numbers for this type of election. Morgan Gwynn, Central Oregon Daily News.